we have seen get is put is get care put care these functions are called as specialized io functions they can be operated only on characters or strings but every time the input will not be a character or string the input might be say a integer value the input might be a fraction value or the input might be character or string if i am asking you to do a input operation with say integer values with fraction values i had to move to some functions which will support these operations those functions are called as printf and scanf which are called as generalized or general io functions we can have character we can have strings we can have integers we can have float all the values can be done all the values can be operated with these functions let's try the first input function for doing this task the input function is scanf now when i say scanf this scanf can read any type of value what will be syntax of the scanf function let's deal with the syntax it's the instruction i'm supposed to always end up with a semicolon so scanf has got two parts if you identify it has got control string it has got arguments as the name itself says control string which means that it has to be there in double quotes and when i say arguments arguments are nothing but variables what exactly control string should contain your control string is purely made up of something called as format specifiers remember format specifiers and these format specifiers they always start with percentage symbol you can have different specifiers for different types of values you can have a percentage d specifier for integer value you can have a percentage f specifier for float value you can have a percentage c specifier for a character value we will have different different specifiers to these operations let's write a example and support this particular syntax now i have written a scan of instruction which says double quotes percentage d here the control string is format specifiers so the first format specifier which i have used in my code is percentage d which means that read one value of type integer whatever the value which has been read has to be stored into a but this particular a is stored somewhere in a vast memory assume that this is my large memory space and this large memory space assume that a is occupied somewhere here if i'm using a very large memory how do i refer to the particular a how do i refer to the address of the particular a because whenever i have to reach to some place i to always associate a address symbol how do i get the address the address will be obtained by using an ampersand symbol whenever a variable is associated with ampersand symbol in c language remember it will always get you the address of the particular variable so this basically reads one value of type integer and stores at the address of a what are the value which you type suppose if i type 12 12 will go and store into a provided that a is declared as an integer variable i can have a scanf instruction in this fashion suppose if i ask you to do a read operation of two values so in that case i'll say percentage d percentage f i'll have two values first value says read an integer and second value second specifier says read a float value and store into say address of a and address of b which means that the value which is supposed to be read as integer will be stored into a provided that a is declared as integer and the second value which you typed will be a fraction value that should be stored into variable called as b which should be declared as a float value so i'll have a scanf instruction to do a read operation from the user 
once the values have been read then I am supposed to display the output. To display the output we can use a printf instruction. Now before we proceed with printf instruction can I have scanf to read even characters also? Yes, I can have a scanf function to read a character using a specifier called as percentage c comma ampersand of let me say k which means that I can read a single character and store into k. Can I have scanf as a replacement for getters? Yes, you can have scanf with a specifier called as percentage s comma ampersand of say ch. Now you have to always remember that in some cases it is advisable to remove ampersand when it is supposed to be removed. In this case the ampersand symbol should be avoided at this place. Why it has to be avoided? Generally always address need to be extracted by ampersand symbol that is only with a normal variable. Here your a is a normal variable, b is a normal variable, k is a normal variable but ch is not a normal variable. ch had to be an array. When it is an array you should avoid using ampersand symbol. So never associate a ampersand symbol with a variable called as an array. It, it is always in, in the initial days of practice it is always a tradition to use ampersand symbol with every value or variable which you enter. But when it comes to character arrays avoid using ampersand symbol right. So a percentage D, a percentage F, a percentage C and a percentage S specifier. The things which you are supposed to note at this place is when percentage S is used never associate a ampersand with a argument that is a variable because it is a array and an array will not have an ampersand symbol to extract the address. The name of the array itself indicates the address of the location or the address of the array. Now how do I deal with the output instruction that is your printf? So we are going to use a printf with the same syntax. Again a control string comma arguments. Now you might wonder that I have written the same syntax as kind of no. We have actually written the syntax of printf instruction. The control string as usual will be there in double quotes. But this time the control string can be a combination of characters, format specifiers or both. So it will have characters, format specifiers or both. So you can have characters, you can have format specifiers or you can have both these characters as well as format specifiers and arguments are as usual they are said to be variables. Let us write an example to illustrate this. Assume that I wish to display the content of a value. So here I can say printf, I will say percentage d comma a which means that the value of a should be displayed on the output screen provided that a is an integer variable. So a is an integer variable whose value need to be displayed on the output screen. So printf displays the contents of a on the output screen. But when it displays phi, don't you feel that it is incomplete? Why don't we now display this particular a with some additional messages? Since printf has an advantage that it can use characters, I'll use a printf in this fashion. I'll say printf double quotes a equals to percentage d comma a. Now what is the advantage of displaying this? It says now first it displays a then it displays equals to then the value is displayed at the format specifier percentage d. So now it says a equals to 5 which means that printf will display the contents of a on the output screen with some message. So here we have displayed the contents of a on the output screen with valid message. It makes some sense to display this particular value with these messages. So that when the user looks at the value 
he will understand that this belongs to a variable called as A. So, you can have say a area of circle with just a value or you can have area of circle equals to some value. So, whenever you display these output messages, always make the output more interactive by adding these messages. So, when I display these values, I can use either of specifier or characters or both. Now, can I have only characters in the output screen? Yes. When I am posing a question, I will say printf, enter a number. Now, when I do this, this does not have any argument part. So, printf, enter, e-n-t-e-r, it will display as it is on screen, a, it will display as it is, number as it is. Now, this specifier does not have, this particular control string does not have any format specifier. Hence, the output will be displayed as enter a number. So, printf can be used to display values, can be used to display messages or both values as well as messages. You can have all the specifiers which we used with scanf again with printf. Thank you.